Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian LaFloridian. Coming to you from Shave Den, I'm Brian, your host, and I will be doing a shave today. It's time for a shave, and it's been a while since I did a shave video, and I just picked up a new soap recently, just thought about, thought about doing a video today, and this is about two days worth of growth in my face. Hope you guys are having a good week so far, a good, good summer. It is winding down toward the end of summer. It's like the first week of August. So I was off the last two day, two weeks from work and doing a few things around Florida. Uh, a little, little bit of a stay vacation, just trying to travel around Florida with the family and myself. And uh, pretty much been doing things around the house, keeping myself busy. But today is a shave with a soap I got recently. And I've been looking for a good Bay Rum soap. I picked up this guy, which is Sterling Bay Rum. So there's a lot of Bay Rum soaps out there. There's a lot of different interpretations of Bay Rum. A bunch of ones on uh, Phoenix Artist Accoutrements, they have like the Atomic Bay Rum. They have like a lot of different Bay Rums, but I was just in the mood for like a simple Bay Rum soap. So I picked up this Sterling one right here. I heard, heard good things about this one. And right off the bat, definitely has a good Bay Rum scent to it. Makes me rem reminisce about going to the barber shop and having this stuff. Slapped on the back of my neck, my face after I got my sh my haircuts and stuff like that. So definitely looking forward to using this soap. As all Sterling stuff, their their soap base is excellent. Not pretty pretty decent on the uh, in the shave world. Their their soaps and, and their products. But anyway, guys, I'll be using that soap. I'm gonna be using my game changer. It's been a while since I used my game changer, my razor rock game changer. This is the uh, 0 0.84 head with the barber pole handle, and I usually have this with the radio knob handle, but I changed it handles because I wanted to go a little bit different. And that's the beauty about the Razor Rock razors. You can change your handles. They're all interchangeable. Their they're stainless steel handles are all interchangeable. They have a, a bunch of different handles. They have the bamboo, this uh, barber pole. They got the the radio knob. They have a bunch of different handles. The heavily knurled one, I'm not sure which one. I think it's I think it's called that. It's super knurled one. I, I think, I think it's, that's what they call that one. But definitely great value be using this razor and I'll be using my shark blade which is like gonna be the second use of the blade so this is a super stainless uh, steel blade and very underrated blade I, I love using this blade I, I use this kind of funny I use this during shark week the whole week and I haven't used this blade in a while since the first of uh, July and I use it for shark week when I used when I did the other shade with the shark bite by uh, three, four, six soaps, and I actually fell in love with this blade. It's been a great blade. I've been using it since that first week of July, and this will be the blade I'll be using. I'll be using my AP Shape Co. the Summer Edition uh, shape brush with a Sinbad knot. So Sinbad 26 millimeter synthetic knot. Great, great brush. Um, I've been using this thing off and on. Haven't used it in a little while, but man. One of my favorite brushes to use in my shave den. So I'm gonna wash my face, guys. Get my face fully hydrated. Get ready for a shave. And I will be right back. All right, guys, back to my first pass. I took my soap out of the out of the container with my guitar pick and put it right into my shaving bowl. So that's one of the things I started doing. Um, I wouldn't say recently. I've been doing it for a few months because a lot of times I'm... These soaps, if I want to trade them off or piff them to someone, I can do that. You know, they won't, you know, people don't have to worry about me using, actually sticking my brush in there and using the soap. And also, I had a soap, I'm not sure what, what arson it was, but I took a soap and I, and I used to lather right into the bowl right here. And even though I dried it off, I had it open all night long, all this stuff just started growing in the soap. So I'm trying to keep the moisture out of the soap container. So I'm using the guitar pick and putting it into a shade bowl and lathering that way or loading my brush. Mm -hmm. In the comments if you guys do the same thing too and if you guys ever had the same experience I did with the soap. I, I lathered the soap and let the, even though, even though I had the top off of it on the counter to dry, it still kind of grew some weird funky looking stuff in there like some kind of bacteria and this, the whole soap just changed so it looked like a, uh, a petri dish like a size experiment, so I didn't want to use it anymore. So I, ever since then, I've been using it, using the guitar pick to scoop the soap out and put it right into a shape, shape bowl of lather. All right, guys, I'll do my first face lather here with the Sterling Bay Rum. And right off the bat, man, get a big blast of Bay Rum 
a uh, little bit of clove. So Sterling, their Bay Rum, they have, the set notes is, I believe nutmeg, orange, they use uh, cinnamon, uh, West Indies, I wanna say essential oils, but those are the things that they put in their Bay Rum and it smells just spot on with what the stuff you get from the from the bar shop. You know, the, the true rum, the true Bay Rum scent you get from like, after they cut your hair or after you get a, a straight razor shave from the barber shop that they slap on your face and the back of your neck. And that's what I get with this with this bay rum soap. Um, incidentally, I went. I had a haircut before my vacation, a few weeks, you know, a couple weeks ago, and I went to an old fashioned barber shop in Tampa. And they cut my hair. They did the straight razor edge around the edges right here, and then they slapped the bay rum on my face, on my, on, you know, around my back, my neck, around the here, and that's what kind of got me thinking, man, I would love to have a Bay Rum soap. And I ended up getting the Sterling one because I saw that one on their site because I always kind of look at Sterling's website to see if there's anything else, if there's anything new that they, that they had released or anything on sale or or what have you. And I saw that, I'm like, man, a lot of good reviews on this, so I'm gonna get this one because I wanted the true Bay Rum scent. All right, guys, that's the first face side. Let me go ahead and use the Game Changer, the 0.84 head. This is a little bit more aggressive head, so I'll be a little more careful. And I just can't say enough how great these razors are. These razors from Razor Rock or Italian Barber. Great value. And I see that there's, they have them all on, in stock on their website. They finally got the, the 0 0.84 head as well as the razors in stock because they've been in, they've been out of stock for a while because the demand the you know the, the demand has been so high but you can't beat a stainless steel you know marine stainless steel milled razor for fifty five dollars I think they're like fifty four ninety nine for a game changer right now with with the head either this, the, the 0 0.68 head or the 0 0.84, which is a gr awesome value, which is which is actually one of the best kept values out there. And the craftsmanship is just second to none on these razors. After, after using the Game Changer, after using the the Razor Rock Jaws, I mean, the other offerings from, from Razor Rock. I mean, I just can't see myself spending, you know, spending much spending money for a razor that's three times as much as, as these guys are for the same, pretty much the same thing, I think. Because a lot of the stainless steel razors you see online from different small companies or other companies are like going for at least you know, well over a hundred dollars, so. So decent value from Italian Barber and from Joe from Razor Rock. Man, this shave is pretty, pretty nice shave. I love the scent on the soap. The scent is pretty strong. I'd say about, maybe about seven out of, out of zero to 10 uh, scent ratio or scent strength. And this 0 0.84 head is very efficient, as you can tell right here my, with my first pass. And no problem taking taking down two days worth of growth. And just a great shave. First pass was, was pretty fantastic. Nice scent, the soap was nice and slick. Let me go rinse my face, guys. I'll be right back for the second pass. All right, guys, back for my second pass here. So nice first pass. I love the scent of the soap. A lot of people don't like the too much clove, but this is, this is probably about, I would say, 
about average for clove. If you don't, if you like, if you don't like clove, you probably won't like the soap. So this soap has a little about an average bay rum scent, if that makes any sense. You know, standard clove. You know, the standard uh, smell of clove, the bay rum. I know a lot of people don't like the, the the clove and the bay rum, but I actually don't mind it. But it actually goes good with this with this with the West Indies bay rum essential oil that's in this soap. All right, that should be good. Second face on it right there. Hope you guys are having a good good week so far. A good July. Yeah, so it's been raining a lot here in Florida, like the last month. And every day feels like a hurricane, pretty much, or like a triple storm. Because, you know, it'd be like clear blue skies, white clouds up, up in the sky. And come around like 1230, anywhere, anywhere from 1230 to 3, you just see like a black, like a mass of black clouds come over your, you know, wherever you are. And just rain down, you know, lots of rain. Uh, lots of fast wind gusts, like, you know, I mean the wind gusts are what, what, what gets you. It's like the, it's like you have this wind that feels like it's like, like 60 to 70 miles an hour. It's crazy. But anyway, what's even crazier, it just comes and goes just as fast as it comes. And before you know it, it's back to being like, you know, back to being like clear blue skies and white clouds, you know. Being, back to being nice for you know for a little while, so it's kind of weird. Florida weather is really weird, and that's how it was on my vacation. It was that it was like that the whole two weeks, so it's kind of a little bit bummed out because there were some things I wanted to do outside and got rain got rained out, so I had to go back inside and or find something else to do that you know that would they, we required being inside away from the rain. But still, enjoyed my last two weeks. It was, it, was, it was nice. Got to go see some new things around Florida that I haven't really seen before. I put up some videos of my places I explore and places I visit on my channel. So definitely check those out. Definitely cool. A few cool videos I checked out. Cool places that I went to. All right, nice shave. Man, this soap is nice and slick. Once you get this, the right water ratio with the sterling soap, the, sli the slickness is probably bar none as good as, any as good as anybody else that makes soaps out there has. I mean, this, their soaps are pretty amazingly slick for, for being a nice beef towel soap. And the one thing about the soap, even though it has cinnamon and clove in it, nutmeg, I don't feel no stinging. I mean, no, none of that uh, weird feeling like where your face kind of feels like it's on fire. Because some soaps in the past where I used to have cinnamon or, or clove or anything that's like that or nutmeg, I can feel my face tingling and just having that, you know, a sensation of where it's starting to kind of burn a little bit. But this is actually not bad. This is actually a good mix right here where I don't feel that from Sterling. All right, guys. That's the, last, that's the second pass. Let me go ahead and come back with that last pass, that, that touch-up pass, that money pass, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my last pass, my last face lather. Man, I am enjoying this soap. Man, this is a good, definitely a good, good soap offering with Sterling. And that's the thing about Sterling. Very few soaps that I bought from them where I didn't like. I think I, I think there's one that I really didn't care for much too much. And I can't I think I think I pivoted away to somebody else, but I'm trying to think which one it was, but it was it was one of the soaps that had the real earthy vetiver, the Haitian Haitian vetiver. I can't put my name on it right now, but man, 
that silk had like a really, really earthy tone to it. I mean, it still had a good performance, but I didn't care for the vetiver. That was really, it was like a real earthy vetiver. So definitely different. That's the only silk I didn't like from Sterling. But everything else that they came out with, I that they I bought from them or purchased from them, I absolutely enjoyed. And this one is going to be at the top of my... Choices to reach for in the next few weeks. There are so many good artists out there. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so many great artists making soap out there. There's just so much soap that I want to buy or purchase that I can't really do that because I don't have the room for it. <laughs> Or I'll never get get through a, a tub or, or a container of soap. That's why I love buying small containers of soap, like the three ounce containers, or you know, smaller than the five or six ounce, because you can get you know you can get through the soap fairly a lot faster. Then you can with a five ounce container, which would take almost a lifetime to get through. All right, I need to guilt more time and that should be the last of the money pass here. Very nice razor, very nice weight, nice. Man, this thing just shaves so nice, this razor rock game changer. Game, game, And I like this handle. I like the barber the barber pole handle on this razor. I've been using the radio knob a lot on this razor, but I just flip switch with the with the barber pole. And great shave. I'm getting a great shave with this with this handle too. So the weight the weight is probably about the same, but I don't know. The knurling kind of makes it a little more easier to, easier to grip than the radio knob handle, which I have back there in the shave in somewhere. So, but man, I love this razor. All right, guys, that's that's a last pass. Let me go rinse my face, guys. I'll be back for the post shave. All right, guys, back for the post shave, and the shave was amazing. Nice, nice slickness from the Sterling soap. The Shark Blade was outstanding with the Game Changer razor, the 0.84 head, and it doesn't get better any better than this, man. This is really, really nice, nice shave. Yeah, so BBS shave, very, very nice shave. And what's funny is the sink, when I rinsed the sink out, it looked like I took half of a, uh, a pepper shaker and dumped it half the, half the pepper into the sink, and all the hair was right there. It looked like pepper was down there. And I had, I had to think for a second, like, is that, that's my hair. That's right, that's my hair. So it was kind of weird seeing that, but man, that blade, the shark blade, the game changer took that hair off without any problems. But anyway, guys, this, my post shave, I'll be using this, this stuff. Don't have the aftershave that matches the, the, the uh, Sterling Bay Rum, but I have the next best thing, which is this. This is the uh, Penang Clumman Virgin Island Bay Rum. So, use a lot of this stuff already. You can tell it's almost down to one third of the way full. So, I actually love this stuff. This is probably one of my favorite Bay Rum aftershaves to use. So, I'll be using this. And a lot of people say it's it's kind of a little bit cool, you know clovey, but I still enjoy it. It's not bad. It's it's really refreshing to me, and I just love the way it just feels on my face for post shave feel. This feels refreshing in my face. I can see where people say it's clovey, but man, not too bad though. It definitely has a little bit of al alcohol in it, so it kind of gives you that sting to it, but also gives you a little bit of refreshing, that little bit of refreshing feel to it after you put this stuff on. So this actually matches up the aftershave really well with this with the Sterling Bay Rum. And like I said, and this stuff is really cheap too, also. You can you can probably get this under $10. Uh, for like a 12 ounce container. Yeah, I think I think that's how much I paid for this one. Not a bad Bay Rum. And definitely want to try the other Bay Rum soaps out there. I do want to try the ones from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. There's a lot of good Bay Rum soaps out there, but I just wanted the straight, I just wanted just a really, just a nice, you know, just a straight regular Bay Rum. And this soap was actually 
fantastic for that, for, for getting that scent, that feel, that performance. So props to Rod for making a great Bay Rum soap. So anyway guys, this is the soap I used. I used my Game Changer by Razor Rock Razor with a 0.84 head. And it has the, the barber pole handle on it, the stainless steel handle. And I used the shark blade with that razor, which did an outstanding job. Very underrated blade, guys. If you ever pick these up, you won't be disappointed. These are decent blades. So, I mean, these blades, I think they get overlooked a lot in the wet shaving community, but they're, they are decent blades. And I used my AP Shave Co. This is the Summer Edition brush, or the Hawk, as, as uh, Christopher Billy calls it. I, still, I, I love this brush. I mean, I can't, I bought this a couple years ago, maybe last year, and I just can't put it down. I still use it probably once a week at least, and definitely reach for it a lot. I love this handle, the Sinbad Knot, and I'm hoping to get some more brushes from, from you know, from uh, AP Shape Co. because they have a lot of good, uh, they have this knot, so they have a lot of different handles, so looking for another brush from them. All right, guys, that's my shave. Pretty fantastic shave. Hope you guys have a good week. Hope you guys have a good summer. Hope you guys have some, some time set aside so you can enjoy the summer a little bit and try to keep, take your mind off of all the crazy stuff going on in the world right now. But anyway, guys, definitely enjoy your week and go Team USA in the Olympics. Hope you guys, hope that, hope that all the Americans that are in the Olympics can, can come away with a medal, either a gold, silver, or bronze, what have you. But man, what, what an incredible honor to be in the Olympics. But anyway, guys, Hope you guys see you guys soon. I will see you guys later. Take care.